Hello everybody and welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program career playthrough. And what we're going to do now is do a very very quick contract over here, which is just basically the testing of a decoupler. There we go, we want to do that. And then we want to also do that ant engine test. We need to get up in at uh, almost 50,000 meters and we need to be really quick about it. So let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get a nice little rocket going on. We want a probe core, this should be fine. And I want some sort of upper stage let's use this one and i also want to have some sort of control authority there we go and just a bit on the safe side some batteries yeah could look better but yeah what do you know and i want to have my end engine on there somewhere there we go doesn't that look great yeah no thrust because we don't uh, are not going to need this we're just going to test this this by itself is already very powerful but let's see uh, whether or not we can get this to perform even better i want that parachute over here and i want the drogue shoot over here oh no maybe haha <laughs> i know what i'm going to nah i want to do it this way anyways okay we have some torque issue going on so 0.1 yeah that's probably okay and then this is the one we want to test but let's put some other one beforehand okay this here and this here this is going to be a cheap rocket because we like cheap things over here and also yeah let's use some there we go some of those and yeah this should be fine we should be able to fly this and fly this well this is going to be very fast maybe i'm going to limit my thrust early on 1.56 there we go Okay, oh, 84, that's better. That sounds better. I don't know why. Okay. And now, of course, we want our decoupler because we want to test it. There we go. Okay, this is going to be a weird uh, thing, but yeah. Rocco Max brand decoupler, Kerbin landed this one. Okay, let's hope we have three and a half thousand meters per second of delta V. This should be way enough for us to uh, get high up enough for uh, this test to perform. But we also need to consider uh, that we need to reach a certain um, velocity. So let's see how that's going to work. Let's call this the test rig and I have probably now built way too many ships uh, with some weird names in there that I can't even remember what they do. Okay, whoopsie, are you going to tip over? I really don't hope so. There we go, okay this looks nice. Okay, what's the... yeah we completed that contract. We're not going to the moon, we need to be at 44,000 meters and we need to be 970 to 1,070 meters per second fast. Can you say it that way? We need to be fast? Alright. Okay, we're speeding up to the speed of sound actually. And we're drifting towards the south, but I really don't care where this is going to land because, yeah, I just want to get up very high and very fast. Okay, how are we doing? We have now an apoapse of 24,000. This is not enough, of course. That's why we're firing. Whoa! Oh, 
Come on. Yeah, this could complicate things. Maybe should have put some fins on there as well. Whoa, why are you behaving like that? Yeah, this is not going to work as I intended. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Not good. And we aren't even halfway there yet. We're not high enough and we're not fast enough. Okay. This is going to turn out worse than I expected. So what was the problem? The stability? Is this even? It's the swivel engine. So it should have enough... Uh, it should have thrust vectoring, doesn't it? Yeah, how much does it have? How many degrees? Uh, three degrees vector range. This has eight degrees. Maybe if I use this engine, I have more of a leeway of sorts. Let's use a bit more fuel because we ran out of it very quickly. This is going to be way too fast, but who cares? Okay, okay, the coupler. Where are my... There are my engines. Okay, 3600 meters per second of delta V should be enough, but you know, you never know. Okay, let's put it this way, and let's also put some more fins on there. Probably not a good idea when... Uh, in the lower part of the atmosphere due to this down here, but I hope that I can now stabilize it better when I am up in the air. Hmm. Okay, let's get this faster. We are going to punch through the atmosphere like nobody else before us. Maybe. Now this could be interesting. Okay, this looks stupid, but maybe this is going to help us with some aerodynamics. I don't know, but let's try it out. Okay, this is now, once again, the loading screen. Wouldn't it be nice if the loading screen had some sort of animation or something on that? Instead of just being black. Pitch black as the night. Okay, we're flying once more. And we should have enough... Uh, we should have enough Delta V to uh, get into orbit. But, you know, you never know. We don't need to get into orbit, we need to get to 44,000 meters. Or 48,000 meters, something in between that. Okay, we're flying quite stable. This is a good thing. And we're continuing to fly stable. Okay, this is better. This is better. Let's try some st spin stabilization, as some people have suggested. We're no oh, we're not fast enough. This is not good. But we still have uh, more than half of you left, so we could try something which is to get into a flatter trajectory. And then see what's going to happen. Oh, we are way too high. Get this down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. My velocity is now within the parameters. My height, oh, oh my height is as well. Why is my speed not? Okay, it needs to be surface speed. Oh, come on.
surface speed needs to be higher. Uh, there we go. Okay, all parameters met. Test the engine. Yes, we did it. Okay, this was a bit tricky, but yeah, we managed to do it. Okay, let's try to get this down to the surface. So we can maybe recover a bit of it. A bit of it. A bit of it. This is getting faster. I really hope the, uh, the drogue shoots are capable of catching me. Okay, I messed up the staging because the drogue shoot should have been the first one to ignite. Ignite? Deploy, of course, but... Oh well. There we are. Okay, I really would like to deactivate that ant engine now. There we go. Alright. Okay, we should survive something. Or some parts of this should survive the impact, or non-impact in this case. Two and a half thousand, yes, the drogue chute has opened. And now the main chute should open right about now. Okay, we're still a bit fast. This could result in some, some destruction of equipment. But we still have a bit of fuel left, so it's not much, but it could be enough to spare us the embarrassment of destroying everything. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, that's not what I intended. <laughs> okay, better. <laughs> At least this was uh, more of a success in regards to recoverability than uh, my latest tourist mission. Tourist mission. All right, we got some science, we got some funds, and we are now good to go to do some other stuff. But I don't want to do that. I want to look at uh, my other missions because these three hours and twenty-one minutes. Uh, could be spent with some more contracts, but I'm pretty sure you want to see uh, how this is going to get along. And... Did I just lose... Did I just lose my range? Okay, it seems that I no longer have any connection with... Yeah! No prop control, because... Yeah, I am out of reach because I don't have any connection with my, uh, what's it called, my base. Alright, let's get back to the space center. Good thing I didn't spend all of my funds on uh, anything unimportant. So I can, nope, wrong button. I should have pressed the right mouse key and not the left button. Because what, what I want to do is upgrade this. So I have some more uh, tracking capability and we're now fully operational. Phew, okay, this looks better. Yes, and now we can fly this. Okay, good thing I'd, I upgraded this now. Because otherwise, yeah, I might have run into a problem. See how that's going. Okay, we have enough electric charge. And I now want to perform my maneuver. Yes, thank you. We want to close this. No, we don't want to replace the maneuver node. Because we believe that this is going to be fine. Intersect 0 0.1 is okay. And yes, I want to torque is idle. This is uh, disabled. I don't need it because we have enough torque in that capsule. Yes, there we go. 30 seconds. This is going to be easy. I hope. 1.2 meters per second of, uh, of burn. Let's 
delete this and just look at it and fire it manually so I can actually see where we're going to stop. Six, five, whoopsie. Okay, this is interesting. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, we're now once again in the situation where my new maneuver node is doing something, but as you can see on the left hand side, I have that precise node mod installed that some of you recommended to me. But I think I'm not, I won't need to use it as of yet. Okay. Okay, this is going to be, yeah. I can't really point into the right direction. Because the maneuver is so minuscule that Kerbal Space Program gets a bit confused. But 0 0.6 is quite okay, and I'm pretty sure we're going to need more thrust when we uh, reach that destination. Let's go back into hibernation to save our batteries and add another what are we, two days and two hours. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's put that five minutes out and... Let's go. Two days, one hour, 55 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, we are now almost there. I'm excited! My first rescue mission, and maybe it's going to be successful. Okay, replace target. No, I don't need to replace my target. But what I do need is to see, okay, here I am, and my target is 315 meters. Uh, 315 meters per second of delta V is the difference. Okay, let's put hibernation back on. Nope. There we go. Four minutes, three, two, one but let's let's not hit each other shall we but let's burn a bit I want to reduce my velocity thirty five seconds until we reach our target do we have enough yes we have enough fuel this is going to be great Dukas Kerman will be excited we are wobbly or wobbly orbits this is physics at its best yes no but who cares Okay, let's wait until we are there, actually. One minute, 50, 40, 30, 20. Okay. Can we already see him? We should be able to see him already. Well, I don't. Where are you? Counter is 0 0.9 kilometers. Okay. Where are you? Dukas. Woohoo! I can't see you. Okay, you should be here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, there you are. I had to press F4. Uh, F4 being uh, the key that uh, enables you to show other vehicles in the vicinity with that nice little bracket or highlight around them. Okay. Just a bit more. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. 
Oh, can we get even closer? Yes, we can. 50, I think we're going to be in somewhat about 50 meters or so. 40 even. Oh, this is going to be easy. At least for Dukas to, to get on board. Zero point five. Let's make it precise. Okay, zero. We have now perfectly matched our velocities. Hello, Ducas. Get out of there. Hmm. You don't have a face. You're black. Completely black. At least your uh, picture was. All right. Time for you to go home. Okay, come on, grab that. Don't touch it too much, otherwise things could get nasty. Yes, we're going to board. Do we have a heat shield actually? Yes, we do, okay. I was just wondering, I really didn't want to uh, have that Kerbal burn up. Uh, and he's an engineer also, so we now have our nice readouts. And wow, 1260 meters per second of delta V. That is enough for, well, basically anything. Okay, shall we wait for our uh, EPA apps or shall we just do a burn and be done with it? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, we could have a moon encounter. Oh, how is that going to happen? Current okay, Perry Apps 113, 14, 26, 45, 40 something. Wanted to be around 40 something. There we go. Okay. We're also getting a moon encounter. This is going to level you up, I guess, because, yeah, you have no stars at all. Uh, does this also already level the Kerbal up? I don't know, to be honest. No operational asset, no pilots on board. Ah, okay, he's not a pilot. Okay, great. Not great, but yeah. Uh, where are we? There are we. Hibernation on. And now we also... We don't need to transfer our crew. What do we want? We want to reach that maneuver node. Uh, but we don't need... What we don't need is an extra alarm for it, because this can be done easily this way, because we have enough hours left until our moon capsule reaches Kerbin. And now it's 50 seconds until burn. So we need 28 seconds to burn this. This should be okay. Where are you going? No SAS, hmm? That's, that's the reason. Okay. I want to have... What? Why? What is happening? What the hell is going on? Why didn't that work? What did I do wrong? That was a classic misfire, basically. Okay, now I'm confused. What am I seeing here? Okay, when is what happening? Five days? Two days? I'm sorry for that confusion, but I thought I already had uh, everything as planned, but apparently I don't. Why? Huh? Something is not right here. Okay, this is going to... should work. 43 and the moon periapsis is high enough. Yeah, this... this should be fine. Let's do our mooner flyby. Or let's just don't and since we have almost 900 meters per second left. Let's just fire this anyway. Let's just do it this way. Let's just do it this way. Let's be 
Let's be uh, cheap about this. Or petty, rather. Let's be petty about this. Can you say petty? I don't know. Okay. Where am I controlling this from? Is this actually going to... Yeah. Pardon my confusion. Usually these things work out more smoothly than this time. And... How are we doing? 45, 43, this should be okay. When are we going to reach this? In two days. So we also need a new... Uh, there we go. A new warning. And we're going to do that 10 minutes beforehand. And let's... Uh, Switch to our Moon 1. I really want this to get down safely. I really hope this is going to work out because we have a lot of science that we want to bring home, don't we? Alright, one hour left until our periaps alarm, but we don't need it anymore because we're already focused on it. Come on home, boys and girl. Three, two, one. Yeah, we're now within the atmosphere. At least the higher up parts. And Valentina is doing okay with everything. Yeah, this is heating up now. This is really heating up. How much delta we do we have left? Well, a bit. Okay, that that didn't work out. But since we have our heat shield, we should survive this no problem. It might be that we need a second pass. Or we just do it this way. Okay, this is way too hot. No, 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 don't do it this way. Don't do it this way. Please don't die. This would be embarrassing. Coming back from the moon and then just dying. I don't want to activate physical time warp because for some reason in physical time warp uh, the... Uh, the heating is also sped up for some reason, so if you have the vehicle in the same orientation flying at the same speed, if you activate physical time warp, it heats up more. I don't know why. Maybe somebody can explain that to me who has uh, more knowledge of uh, game development or the Unity engine in, uh, in particular. I have no idea what's going on when that happens, but yeah. Okay, we're already increasing our speed again. Nope, nope, don't, don't explode, don't explode. So the thing is, we're going to fly probably another pass, yeah. This is not going to work out in the way that uh, we just land right about now. We're going to reduce our velocity and then we're going to land. Okay, now, I, now I'm confident enough that I can turn back on physical time acceleration. And even do this, even though it doesn't do anything anymore, but you know. Okay, we now will be in, uh, we'll, we will be back on Earth in about, on Earth, on solid ground in about one hour. Are we already out of the atmosphere? Yes, let's warp here. And let's wa watch this nice transition with some beautiful visual mods installed. Which, uh, if you don't already know, are... Um, Environmental Visual Enhancements and Scatterer, my go-to mods for Kerbal Beautification, if you want to call it that way. 
Okay, uh, heating up again. Nope, wrong direction. There we go. Heat shield, do your magic. Why isn't Valentina... Doesn't all Valentina already have the, her first star? This is weird. I thought she already is uh, on the next level, but what do I know? Okay, what's happening? I can't control... I can't control this anymore. Why can't I control it anymore? I should have enough power. Not enough electric charge? Why don't you have enough electric charge? Oh, that's why. Sorry, my mistake. The backup power wasn't backing up anything. It was just closed up for some reason. Okay, now we're burning really hot. And also the useless monopropellant still on board. Why do I always forget to, add, uh, to remove it when I do these kinds of missions? Okay. Where are we going to end up? Somewhere in the mountains. Hmm, could be dangerous. Let's reduce our speed this way until we get too hot. This must be a nice feeling for the crew, you know? Knowing that any wrong move on part of the pilot could uh, be the, their immediate death and a fiery and unpleasant death uh, at that as well. Speed it up at least a bit. I don't want this crew to die. They've already been through so much and experienced the beauty of the Mun. How do you pronounce it? The Mun? The Moon? The Moon? I've heard so many ways of it being pronounced in either YouTube videos or in person, so yeah. I say the Moon. Do I? The Moon? The Moon? Ah, uh, what do I know? Okay, we're now at a speed where I think I can afford to put this more squarely to reduce our speed even more. Uh, okay, and now we, we probably are going to going to be able to open our drogue shoots very soon. Yes, there they go. And now we can open the other one as well. And we're home free. Ooh, I'm excited towards all of that science bounty we're going to get. 6,000 meters, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. Drogue shoots opening. And I really hope we have enough stopping power when the next parachute opens, right about now, so we don't crash and burn. Okay, this should be enough. 8.2 meters per second is survivable by Kerbal standards. 400, 300... A good thing we have Kerbal Engineer available, so I now actually know when I'm going to hit the ground. So, let's see how this is working. And, yeah, nothing broke, and we are now here. Is this a new biome? Grasslands? No, we already have everything from the grasslands. Or maybe a temperature scan? Oh, we didn't have temperature from the grasslands. Why didn't we have temperature from the grasslands? 
but we do have pressure. Okay, maybe we can get a... Oh, no transfer. Do we need an EVA report? Nope, but maybe a surface sample. Yes, nine more science points. Yay. Okay, let's get this recovered. And now we have 669 science. Great. This is awesome. I now have well enough science to uh, move forward with a lot of things. And th we are going to do this the next time when we enter the shadow zone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.